This problem will prepare you for the test. So I'll recommend that copy this graph on a piece of paper and then try to answer the questions. The first one is sketch inverse of the given relation. Second, is the relation, is the inverse of the given relation a function? Write down domain and range of the relation and write down domain and range of the inverse. So try to do this question and then look into my suggestions. Now to do this kind of a problem, it is better to find some critical points and then make a sketch of the graph. Now critical points could be the vertex for example. X and Y intercepts are very critical points and some good points where you can see them crossing and you can really read them properly. So these are good enough points to sketch the plot, maybe. Up to here you can take, right? So once you take your points, label them A, B, C, D and make a table, right? Because it is better, there are so many points here and I'll recommend do one side at a time. First you do this side and then take up the other side. In that case, you won't get confused between the points, right? So once you mark your points, label them. So let's label them as, let's say this is A, B, C, D, and E, right? And do these and then label the rest. F, G, H, and I, correct? So once you get coordinates of these points, so you can write like this. You can write A as coordinate of this, which is minus 8, minus 9, minus 8. So you say minus 9, minus 8. Point B is minus 5, minus 5. And point C is minus 2, minus 6. D is 0 and minus 5 and E on this side of the graph is 2 and minus 3. Right. So once you get a set of points then you interchange these points and get the inverse. So let's just say this is our function f of x. I should not write this is not a function so let's say relation, right? Let me write relation Rx. And then we do relation inverse, okay? Inverse of the relation. Let's write R for relation, right? And then you can write down the set of points which are of, which will be on the inverse of this relation, right? So it will be A dash, make it A dash, and then you can write this as minus 8, minus 9, just interchange. B is minus 5, minus 5. C, C dash is minus 6, minus 2. D dash will be minus 5, 0. And E dash will be minus 3, 2. Correct? And then you can mark these points on your graph and sketch one side. Do one side first and then do the same procedure for the next side also. Right? So that is how you can do this graph. Another option is that you can count and go find the image points graphically, right? So let me show you that part also. So sometimes with figures like this, it could be complicated. So it's better to do values, right? Now here, that is the line y equals to x. And we need to reflect it on y equals to x to get the inverse of this function. I should say relation, since it fails a vertical line test, it is not a function. If we consider just one half of it, where y value is less than minus 3, then it could be treated as a function. But as such, it is not a function. It is just a relation. So this point is on the right side. So we go diagonally, 1, 2, and a half. So we go half, 1, 2. So we reach this point, right? So that is E dash. And you can check E dash. Do we have minus 3 and 2? Yes, we do. So likewise, you can get all the points even without writing all this. You can sketch it straight. That is faster. 
one two and a half half one two so you get you should know if a point is on the y-axis then its image will always be on x-axis right one two one two so you get keep getting your points one and this one will be on this side right half and this is your invariant point so you get your points here the set of points is this for you then you join them correct so that forms your one half right and you can always write down which points you have taken this is for example e dash for us and then we have d dash for us and then we have c dash and this is b dash and that one here is a dash so likewise you can draw the other half and get the solution for this thing right and you can always write domain and range for the given relation that's not difficult right so here for the inverse function domain is going to be all real numbers and range is going to be less than or equal to 2 and for the function it will flip correct so that is how it is going to be i hope you got it right thank you